And in this video, I am going to show you how to create a content or editorial calendar using my favorite tool, Asana. In some of my previous videos, I've showed you how to organize your projects and tasks and how to brainstorm ideas. So now I'm going to actually show you how to take your idea brainstorm and organize them into a content calendar so that you have your small business content planned out and you never have to think about what's coming next, that it's planned out and you are ready to go in creation mode. The first thing we are going to do is create a new project in Asana. So go ahead and create a new project and I'm going to call it my content calendar. I'm going to stick to using the list view and create a new project. And you'll see that pop over on the left as its own new project. So I'm going to show you a new feature in Asana. When you are next to the add task button, if you hover over there, you're going to see an add section button appear and it's sort of secretive and I don't know why they do this but we're going to go ahead and create a new section and we're going to call this our weekly content plan and if you know me you know that I love my templates and my checklists because when I'm using templates and checklists I get to think more about my idea and less about the logistics around it so I'm going to make a plan on all the content that I deliver each week to my audience. So some of my examples of that are each week I have a video, a reflection question, a blog, and a testimonial. And so this is my weekly content plan. Every week I plan on delivering each one of these four things along with any other content that pops up during my day that I'm, you know, interested in sharing with my audience. So here is my plan and I can even go in if I want to. I'm going to go ahead and close this sidebar over here. I can go in and even detail out further for the different pieces what goes into a video. So I need an outline, I need to record, edit, and post to YouTube. And for my reflection question, I need to determine the question, create the graphic, and I use a I use a Canva for this. And schedule on my social planner. For a blog, I will do an outline and actually I, I write it, then I edit it, then I select images, and I publish it. And then finally for the testimonial, I capture, create the graphic, and schedule social. And I spelled capture wrong. Okay, so you can see my weekly content plan is I have four different content pieces that I'd like to deliver every every week to my audience and I also have my subtasks determined for each of those. The next thing that I'm going to do in my content calendar is I'm going to create another section. So again, there's that hidden add section button and I'm going to call this week one, which for 2017 is also Monday, January 2nd. So I'm going to put 12-17. I like to use the week number because that's how I name my files and different things that I use. So to put the week number in there helps me. And I'll show you again. I'm going to do that I'm going to do week 2, which for 2017 is 1-917. So you can do this however you want, however you want to name your weeks. Obviously right now it's not January, we are just starting the month of April. So if you're following along with me in real time, you can go ahead and just start it at, uh, we are 
going to be at week number 14 on April 3rd. So go ahead and organize your weeks however it makes sense to you. But you can use that add section area to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and look at my project list. And this is where that idea bank comes into play. So all of the ideas that I create, I then begin to use them to fill up my content calendar. So I'll look at my idea bank and I'll start to see what themes that I have. Or, I mean, maybe I already know what my themes are. For example, in January, my th January this week one is going to be project management. And I'm also going to do project management for a few weeks. I, I like to keep a theme going for usually about four weeks, I find is a good time, sometimes six, just because I feel like the, the content kind of flows. You know, you can build, 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 and then switch off into a new topic. So I do tend to put my, my topic that I want to use, I'll put it in parentheses just so I have an idea. And then I go over to my idea bank and, and this project. And what I love about Asana is I showed you before in the idea generating video, you can tag your ideas and I, this is a little bit off screen, it's a little bit tight, but I can either pull up a tag for anything that I have tagged on my theme or I can do a search and I can search for any, any words that come up on a theme that I want to use. But the main idea here is that I can take my ideas and if I click on these six little dots, you can see my cursor change to a hand. I can actually drag this over to my content calendar project. And when it's highlighted blue, I let go. And you'll see it says that it was moved to the content calendar. And when I click on the content calendar, there's my idea. And now what I do is I drag it down. And this is going to be my week one blog and I'm going to label it my week one blog idea. And what's really awesome is that this is one of the ideas that I actually already had outlined. So I already have an outline for this idea. I'm already ready to go into content creation mode. I don't have to think about why I'm doing it or who I'm doing it for because I already did that work. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start doing, writing this blog. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over here to my project list. So again, you can pull from your idea bank and you can pull, drag and drop into your content calendar and pull your ideas down. And sometimes um, you may have one idea that you do two things with it. So. Not only is idea three going to be a blog, but I'm actually going to duplicate it. So I can go over here and I can copy the task. It's creating a copy. Okay, you can see my, my copy was created and I'm going to use this as a blog and a video. And so this is this is what I do. So I keep going and I it's it's my goal to always have about 6 weeks planned out and right now my goal is to have like the next 6 to 12 weeks planned out in terms of themes and to actually be about 1 month ahead in my content production. So that means I have for the next month all my videos are complete my blogs are written or at least um, very detailed out in my outline. And it allows me to have some flexibility in my schedule then if something comes up with my kids or I am sick and I need, you know, I'm taking a week off of uh, production. Now I know what is happening next, what the game plan is. I can always recruit help if I need to. So it's just a really great way to organize what you're putting out there and, and to not be so overwhelmed by it because here's your game plan. Here's what you're going to do, what you got to sit down every day and write. And I find it very helpful. 
So I would love to know your thoughts on this video and if this helped you organize your content and create a content calendar and strategy. And I will talk to you again soon. Thank you.